One of the men arrested at the wild Loudoun County School Board meeting back in June of 2021 appeared in court today. You may recall one of them was Scott Smith, who said his daughter was one of the victims of sexual assault. Well, today's trial was for the other man, John Tiggis. Uh, Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder was in court all day and joins us now. So, Drew, I, there wasn't a whole lot of talk about Mr. Tiggis' family, but I understand this case is also right. very significant. Yeah, it really is, Sean. I mean, look, okay, on its surface, Tiggis is charged with misdemeanor trespassing. Not exactly page one news, right? But here in Loudoun, this does really matter because it's Loudoun County, because it happened at that school board meeting seen around the world, and because there are so many ongoing cases stemming from Loudoun County Public Schools right now with the former superintendent and the district spokesperson. So let's take a look right now. We want to show you some video that was submitted as evidence today by the prosecution, which shows the defendant, John Tiggis, at the front of the crowd back in that June 22nd, 2021 meeting, he's using a megaphone, in his words, to allow people to continue speaking after the school board had shut down the public comment period. Well, right after the public comment period was shut down, the former superintendent, working in coordination with the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office, called an unlawful assembly, saying that at that point, everyone needed to leave the building or they would be arrested. Mr. Tiggis did not leave, and Mr. Tiggis was arrested. Tiggis' attorney argues that the former superintendent did not have the authority to call an unlawful assembly and says this is an infringement on his client's First Amendment rights. Most people believe you have a First Amendment right, and when the statutes give you that, the, the standard by which a prosecutor or a police officer would be able to um, stop the public's exercise of a First Amendment right is if there's a violation of law. So the Loudoun County prosecutor says that the former superintendent did have the authority to stop that meeting and says that at the very least, the Loudoun County Sheriff's officer or deputies who were in the room are able to make that call and identify a situation that, in their view, could have gotten unsafe for the people inside. And it's also important to note that this case was already heard in a lower court, mm -hmm. in general district court, a judge there ruling that Mr. Tiggis uh, was guilty of this misdemeanor trespassing charge. They appealed that to the higher court. Now it's in circuit where Mr. Tiggis is hoping for a mo more favorable outcome. We expect the judge to make a decision on that tomorrow, you guys. All right. We know you will have an update for us then. Drew Wilder, thank you.